What's going on, everybody? It's your boy, Sheltered Hill. Um, I'll get back to Miami hate week in a second, but I just wanted to come on here and just talk about... Fuck this goddamn committee, man. This These motherfuckers don't know shit. Like, I've said this from the very beginning. Like, I remember when last year when this committee, like, when they released the names for this committee, I was like, this is some horse shit. And the first, the first salvo that I had was the fact that Condoleezza Rice is on this committee. Condoleezza Rice has never served as an athletic director. She's never been a coach. She has never played the fucking game of football. The only thing that Condoleezza Rice knows about football is watching the shit on TV, just like me and you do. We watch fucking football. So how is she more qualified to judge who the top 25 teams in college football are when she knows nothing about college football besides watching the shit like just what the fuck we do? <sighs> Mike Trent, man, you know, I'm not even going to go into all the members of this fucking... This committee is bullshit. So, Oregon, a one-loss team who lost at fucking home to Arizona, who has lost two fucking games this season, they jump us in the college football poll. And we're number three. And mind you, FSU has not lost a football game since Obama's first presidential term. Man, this... We, we, we got to find a different, like, we, we got to find a different way to determine the top teams in this country because right now this shit is not working, man. This is, this is just straight bullshit. You know, what I hope this does, I hope this motivates my team. I hope we come out and we hope we come out and play fucking inspired because the committee just sent a message and that message is that they don't value winning. It's not good enough to win anymore. It's about how you win what conference you play in and style points and it's bullshit man it, it's bullshit the reason that it's bullshit is because i don't think that there's ever been a time where a reigning defending national champion has been disrespected the way we have been disrespected we have not lost a football game have we struggled? Yes. Any Florida State fan will tell you we've struggled. Have we looked as impressive as what we feel like we should have looked? No, we have not. I will readily admit that. We are not as good as the team that we put out there last year. And part of the reason that we're not as good as the team that we were last year is because we don't have those same players back. We don't have a LaMarcus Joyner who was a freak of a man-child that was just that special player on defense. We don't have a Kelvin Benjamin who was just that, you know, big receiver that was just that dominant force or whatever that you just throw it up anywhere within a 10-foot radius and he'd go up and get it. We don't have Timmy Jernigan who's going to, you know, freaking, you know, stuff the run or whatever and make it to where you know he'd be like a one-man wrecking crew on that defensive line we don't have christian jones we don't have our senior leadership and everything like that we don't have that three-headed monster at our running back position and we definitely don't have you know our lockdown center remington award winner that was you know the captain of our offensive line we don't have that but you know what we still do have we still have heart we still have a team that's out there that's going to go out there and fight and despite all the haters, despite all the negativity, despite everything that everybody wants to say against us, we still go out there, we still compete, we still win. That's what we've done. We have not, we've done everything else. We've been ridiculed, we've been dropped in the polls, we've been, you know, the subject of a shitload of negative media and everything like that, that are based off of allegations, reports, accusations, and hearsay which is based off of zero facts or zero evidence of anything, but we are still, nevertheless, the number one team in the country, in my mind, because we have not lost a football game. 25 straight games don't just happen, man. It don't just fucking happen. We've gotten everybody's best game. And this year, we will face five teams, five teams, count them, five teams that will face us following a bye week that means that they get an extra week to scout us that means they get an extra week to get healthy that means that they've gotten our game circled on their calendar or whatever and they're going to put out the best game plan they'll show us some things that they haven't featured in any year and despite all that we've weathered the storm 
We've gone ahead, we've won, we've done everything that we've needed to do, and we've won football games. We have not lost, we have won football games. Now, if we lose a football game, by all means, go ahead and drop us. You know what? If we lose a football game, I'll be the first person to say here, as a Florida State fan, if we lose a football game, we won't get into the playoff, college football playoffs, and we don't deserve to get into the college football playoffs if we lose a football game at this point. But at this point, man, it is just ridiculous how they just disrespect and devalued winning. The committee sent a statement, and that statement is kind of sad, and it's going into the state of where college football is right now. Now... I'll sit there and say that we deserve to be ranked higher than Mississippi State. But you know what? Mississippi State has not lost a football game. So you know what? If we're behind Mississippi State, that sucks. But you know what? I can understand the argument for Mississippi State because they're undefeated. We have not lost a football game. We have not lost a game. How are we the third best team in the country when apparently the second best team in the country, there was a team that was able to figure them out. And not only were they able to figure them out, they beat them at home. Fuck this committee. Fuck this committee. Fuck everything that they stand for. Knowles, let's go out there. Let's keep winning. Let's keep shoving it up to all those haters. And you know what? Love, trust, and believe in each other because we are one team, one heartbeat. Go Knowles, baby. And fuck this playoff committee.